In this session, we will create a continuous hexagonal pattern using basic shapes in Substance Designer. First, select Substance Graph from the new file menu. Then, select the empty template to create the graph. We will start by creating the interior edges of the hexagon. Select the shape node from Patterns in the Texture Generator and drag it into the empty graph. Set the pattern to Capsule. The size on the x-axis should be set to 0.95 and the y-axis to 0.32. To elongate it horizontally, set the pattern specific to 1. Set the angle degree to 31. Next, drag out the output node to search for and connect a threshold node. The threshold node eliminates the gradient by converting values between white and black to either 0 or 1. Set the threshold to around 0.64 and set the mode to greater. Once that's done, drag out the output node to search for and connect a mirror grayscale node. Set the mode to mirror axis X in the instance parameters so that the image is inverted based on the X axis. The axis X offset should be set to 0.5 to be centered. Now we will create the edge in the middle. Like before, either drag a shape node into the empty graph or select the shape node you previously created and copy it by pressing Ctrl plus T select capsule. And set the angle to 90 degrees to stand it upright. Set the size to X 0.52 and Y 0.32. Drag out the output node to search for and connect a threshold node, as before, setting it to 0.64. Adjust the position to align it correctly with the previously created edges. Select the Transformation 2D tool and set the offset Y to minus 0.21. Now that we're done, we will blend the two objects we've made. Drag out the output of the first object you created to search for and connect a blend node. Then connect the second node you made to the foreground. Select Add Linear Dodge as the blending mode and you can see the two results merged. Add Linear Dodge is a method of summing the channels of background and foreground. If the added channel value exceeds a certain level, it returns the maximum value of that channel. This blending mode has the feature of increasing brightness. Next, we will create the outer edges of the hexagon, which is quite simple. Make a new shape node as before, select square and pattern, and set the size to weigh 0.14. Then drag the output to connect it with a shape mapper. In Shape Mapper, there are Circle and Polygon modes for shape. Circle shapes the input object into a pattern as many times as the pattern amount. In Polygon, you can divide the shape as many times as the value entered in segment to create the desired polygon. We select Polygon and enter 6 for segments to make a hexagon. If segments doesn't show up, link segments with pattern amount will be true, so change it to false. Then, set the radius to 0.47 and the width to 0.55. Here radius adjusts the radius of the shape, and width adjusts the thickness of this shape. Now we will blend the object we first blended and the object we just made with the Add Linear Dodge blending mode. Drag the output node of the object you just made and connect a new background node to blend. If you connect the object you first blended to the foreground, a hexagon will now appear. We're almost finished. To turn the shape we created into a pattern, search for the Tile Sampler node and connect it to the pattern input. Disconnect the connected background input by dragging and selecting it, then pressing the delete key. Enter the desired number of patterns in the instance parameters. For me, I'll set both X amount and my amount to two. Press the space bar in the 2D view window to see that there is still space between each hexagon. To fill this space, go to the size category and adjust the I value of size to 0.85. They are the parameters that adjust the width and height of the object. Scale is a parameter that uniformly adjusts the size of the object. It can be well utilized to create a variety of patterns. When the value of scale is set to 1.36, you can visually confirm the pattern of the hexagon. From here, you can adjust the scale value to create various shapes of patterns. This has been a tutorial on creating simple hexagon patterns using basic shapes in Substance Designer.